Well, we're in for a problem tonight. I needed to make this video for you, but I realized I left my iPad at home. So today I am balancing my camera on my cooking spray can and doing this paper and pencil, real old school. But it's super important because I wanted to help you understand better the squeeze theorem, or also known as the sandwich theorem or the pincher theorem. And remember last time in class, we talked about that if we have a function g of x, and we know that it's between h of x and f of x, when x is near a variable a, whoa, then if we also know that the limit as I approach a constant a for f of x, if that limit is equal to the limit as I approach a of h of, h of x, then we can say that the limit of g of x as x approaches a equals l. So I'd like you to take out the worksheet that we did in class and we started taking notes um, and it was on the squeeze theorem and I wanted to talk through a few more additional examples to help make this clear. Now I find that I typically use the squeeze theorem when I have a trigonometric function because when looking at this trig function I can squeeze in sine of x between two functions, right? So if you think of your sine graph, we have the basic sine graph going like this, right? And we know that sine is squeezed between positive 1 and negative 1, right? So we could say that 1, negative 1, is less than or equal to sine of x, which is less than or equal to to 1. Now I'm really concerned about those sine of x divided by x, not just sine of x. So what we can do then to be able to obtain the function sine of x over x is I can divide every single portion by x. And I can allow to do that by the property of equality. So now I have the function negative 1 over x is less than or equal to sine of x over x, which is less than or equal to 1 of x. So the question is, do I know the limits of my outer pieces? So do I know the limit as I approach infinity of negative 1 over x? Do I know the limit as I approach infinity of 1 over x? And yes, I do, because this is a function that is common to me. We know that neg 1 of x looks like this, so therefore negative 1 of x would just be the opposites of that. So we can see as we approach infinity, this limit is zero. And this limit would also be zero. So therefore, if I take the limit of the left piece as I approach infinity, and the limit of the right peach piece as I approach infinity, and we know that it's zero, and the outer piece is also, therefore the limit of the inner function as I approach infinity will also be zero. And that is using the squeeze theorem. So now what I'd like you to do is try an example on your own. So your example is, what is the limit as x approaches zero of x times sine of x? So you'll pause the video, well the video will pause for you, and then you will make your choice. Okay, the solution to this, let's see how you did. Now again, I look at my expression and I ask myself, is there a part of this expression where I know that it is sandwiched between two other functions? And yes, I know that sine of x is sandwiched between one and negative one. Now I'm not interested in just sine of x, I want x sine, times sine of x. So I'm gonna multiply every piece of my inequality by x, which I'm allowed to do by the multiplication property of equality. Now, the, oh, this will only work if I know the limit as I approach zero of negative x and the limit as I approach zero of x. Well, these are both two common functions for me. They're linear, and we know that negative x would be zero at zero, and x would be zero at zero. So therefore, if I take the limit of the piece that is to the left of wait, x approaches zero, lesser than my function of interest, and if I take the limit as x approaches zero of the function that is greater than my function of interest, and these are both zero, so then I can therefore, 
by the sandwich theorem. Sandwich theorem declare that the limit as x approaches zero of x sine of x is also zero. So this would equal zero. I hope you did well on that. Now, let us move to another topic associated with the same idea. That's my buzzer for my dinner. I made rigatoni. I hope you had a healthy dinner. So the next section is using known limits